What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to easily create an image generation AI Discord bot in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so a quick demonstration and preview up front. This is going to be our final result, a Discord bot which either reacts to messages that you send to it directly or it also listens to channels, to messages and channels uh, which it has access to. And what we can do now is we can type something like exclamation mark, gen, and then for example, horse. And this is going to generate an image for the prompt horse. Uh, takes some time, especially because I'm recording now, and it's going to result in the image of a horse. Then I can do something like exclamation mark gen blue horse, for example, let's see if that works. Uh, and in my case, now I'm running stable diffusion 1.5 here. So you can also use better models if you have the capacity to do so. In this case, I get this year. Okay, and then let's do something else like maybe uh, man on moon eating lunch. Let's see if that is successful. Uh, but that is basically the idea. You can text it directly or it can react to messages. Uh, yeah, okay, this is not, not very good, but yeah, you get the idea. This is what we're going to build in this video today. All right, now for this project, we're going to need two things. First of all, a Discord bot. Second of all, an image generation model that the bot can use. And then we're going to combine everything into a single Python script, which operates the bot. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our web browser and visit discord.com slash developers. Now, once you're locked in, you're going to see this page here. And here we're going to just click on new application to create our new uh, Discord bot. I'm going to call this image generation bot. I'm going to accept the terms of service, create. And here now we're going to go to OAuth2. We're going to click down here on bot and we're going to grant certain permissions. For example, send messages, obviously, because we need to send images, uh, attach files, obviously, because we need to send images, uh, and then also read message history, view channels, and I think embed links can also be useful depending on what we want to do with the bot. But these are the permissions that we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the link down here. This is going to be the invite link for our server. Uh, we're going to open up a new tab. I'm going to copy paste this. And now I can allow as an admin of the server, as an admin of the Neural9 community server, which you can, by the way, join as well. Um, I will click on continue and authorize the bot to join the server with the permissions. Now I need to authenticate myself here with a code. So I'm going to do that quickly like this, confirm. And I'm going to also conf or confirm that I'm human. There you go invite the bot to the server. So the server, the bot is now part of the server. I can see that this is the case by going to the welcome lounge. And you can see that here the image generation bot just slid into the server. So I invited the bot and the bot is now part of the server. However, the bot is offline because uh, it's not operated yet. I didn't connect to it. In order to do that, I need to get a token. So I'm going to go to the bot page. And here, um, I'm going to scroll up here, or I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to go to reset token. So I'm going to do yes, do it. And I'm going to copy this thing here. Now you can always reset this, but you're only going to be showed this token once. So copy it, uh, go to a file in your Python development environment, create it, call it token or whatever, copy paste this here. And now you have it. And this is what you need to connect to your bot. So um, on the bot page, we're going to do a second thing, we're going to grant the privilege here. Uh, which is the message content intent. The reason we need that is because the bot, of course, has to be able to read the messages that it sees. So I'm going to enable this, save changes. And uh, this now allows the bot to also view message content. So this is what we need for the setup here. The second thing that we need is we need an image generation model. In my case here, I'm going to use stable diffusion version 1.5. Uh, from Hugging Face, you can use any other version of Stable Diffusion, you can use any other image generation model, but you need to have some way to get a prompt, feed it to the model and get an image in return. This is how you do it with this package, you just import from the fusers, uh, Stable Diffusion pipeline, you also import PyTorch, you specify the model, you create a pipeline which is pre trained, so you don't have to do anything. Uh, of course, you're running the, mo uh, the model locally. So you need to have a GPU, especially if you want to run, run CUDA here. Um, and then you provide a prompt and you get 
the image as a result. This is what we're going to do here in this case. If you have the necessary hardware to run Stable Diffusion 3, do it. I'm going to run this one here. Um, all right, so we're going to open up a new Python script and we're going to have to do a couple of installations first. First of all, we're going to do, let me actually see what the Discord package is called. I think Discord PY. Oh yeah, Discord.py. So we're going to do pip3 install diffusers discord.py and torch which is PyTorch. In my case, all of these are already installed, so I'm not going to run this now, but these are the packages that we need. And then we're going to do some imports. First of all, we're going to import OS, and I'm immediately going to say uh, that I want to set the following environment variable, TF, CPP, min, log, level. I want to set this to three. You don't need to do that. I just do it because I get a bunch of warning messages that I don't want to have here uh, for this video. This is optional. You don't need to do that. Then I want to import UUID so that I can export uh, unique file names. I want to import torch. I want to import or actually from diffusers. I want to import the stable diffusion pipeline. And I also want to import the discord package. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load the model or I'm going to specify the model from stable diffusion uh, or from hugging face. I'm going to say the model actually, maybe we can copy paste this from here. So I'm going to say uh, model and pipe, I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to copy paste it here. So we have the model ID, we get the pipeline from pre trained, which is just uh, getting the model from hugging face, I say I want to run this on a GPU. And then what I do is I create my discord bot. So I say that the token is equal to opening the file token in reading mode, reading the content. That is my token, which I got from the discord uh, developer page. And then I'm going to create intents. So the intents is more like uh, a scope of permission or what do I want to do with this bot. So I'm going to say intents is equal to discord dot intents dot default. And then I'm going to say intents dot messages equals true and intents intense dot message content is also going to be true. And for this line, I also need to have the privileges enabled, which I showed you. So this is why we need to enable this here. Um, all right, so we have these permissions, and then I'm going to create a client, I'm going to say client is equal to discord dot client, intense is going to be equal to intense. And then we're going to define uh, the functionality. And that's basically going to be all we do, we're going to define two functions, one of them is even optional, the first one is going to be a uh, client event, it's going to be an asynchronous function on connect, this is just optional for me, I want to know that when I connect, I want to print a message bot connected, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And all of the work will basically be done in the second function. So I'm going to say here as well, client event, async, def on message. So when a message is received with a parameter message here, I can react to it. So I can say, okay, depending on the message, do something. Uh, the first thing I want to do here is I want to check if the message author is myself. So if the message author is equal to client user, so to the user of this client, then I want to ignore the message. So I want to just return because I don't want to go into an endless loop where I react to my own messages. Um, so I want to only react to messages that are not coming from the bot itself. Um, and then I want to say if the message dot content starts with, and now you can define a command, I'm going to use exclamation mark, gen and space, you can also go with dollar generate or any message, you don't even have to check for anything. I'm going to go with uh, exclamation mark gen. If that's the case, I want to do the following await. And um, I'm going to say message dot channel, get the channel that the message was sent in. So it can be a direct message, it can be a channel uh, that the bot has access to. And in this channel, send the following message, generating image for prompt. Now actually, let's do double quotations here, and then message content, but we want to, uh, to 
to cut off the first five characters because they are just uh, exclamation mark, gen and space. So we're going to go five colon. Um, and then maybe we want to use three dots. There you go. Um, so that is just a message. Now, to actually generate the image, we use the code here from Hugging Face. So we just do exactly this. Uh, so what we do is we say file name is going to be equal. And I do this in order to be able to generate multiple images uh, at the same time. Or actually, I'm not sure. No, this actually doesn't make sense. But we, we want to do it like this. So we want to do uh, UUID UUID 4.png just so we don't have overlapping file names in case someone uh, starts a second second request here. Um, and want to do image is equal to pipe. And the pipe is defined, remember, up here. Uh, pipe and we feed into the pipe the message content, but only after index five. So to cut off the, the command itself. Um, and as a result, we get images, we want to get the first one here. And then we want to do image save to that file name, which we generated up here. Now, in order to send the message, we want to do with open file name in reading bytes mode as F, we want to say that the picture is equal to discord file. So we create a file based on that file stream. And we send that file as a message. So we say await message channel send and we send it as a file file equals picture. Uh, all right. So what's the problem here? No, this should actually work. Uh, all right. And in the end, we want to remove the file from disk. So from our server where the whole thing is happening. So we want to remove file name. And in the end, we want to just do client run with a token. And the token is the one stored in the file. So this already is the whole program. Let me run this and see if that works. So I run this and we should get bot connected here in a second. Hopefully, uh, actually, it has to download some stuff first. And there you go, bot connected. So I can go to Discord now and I can probably see somewhere here that, uh, what was it called? Image generation bot is active. So I can actually open up a conversation here and I can say hello, I should not get a response for this one. But if I say gen, let's say doc, I should get generating image for prompt doc. And there you go, I get a doc. And the same thing should now work also on the server. So let me choose a channel that is, uh, let's actually make a new channel here. Text channel experiment. I'm going to do a private channel here. And I'm only going to allow for the image generation bot to be in it. Now I'm not sure which one is uh, which. So I'm going to do both. Create channel. So here now I only have access and the admins have access. And here I'm going to say gen cat for example. And since the bot has access to this channel, and it would also have access to all the other channels. So if by accident, someone of my um, of my community members here types exclamation mark gen something, it's going to be generated in any of these channels, because it doesn't matter if I send it or someone else sends it. But of course, I'm going to turn off the bot here in a second. So let's delete the channel. But this is basically how you do that. This is how you can easily build a discord image generation bot in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.